What's up guys? So as you might be able to tell from my voice, um, I came down with the flu again. Um, I thought I had dodged it about a month ago, but no such luck. A lot of you have been asking me how my Skype chat had gone with uh, Mark Mir. And it happened yesterday. <laughs> well, as you could tell, I, could, I can't stop smiling. The good thing is that yesterday I wasn't this bad, um, which is good because I would have sounded like a toad and that would have been very embarrassing. <laughs> but I'm just so happy right now that that I, I still look back and I still remember and I'm just like, oh my god, I can't believe that actually happened. We just talked. I mean, we talked about everything. We talked about TV shows. We talked about Mass Effect, about other games and conventions and stuff. He's, he's, he's a big gamer. Um, like uh, like all of us and he he's a nerd he loves comic books it's so awesome like, it was just a lot of fun um and the cool thing i mean when i first went on and he showed up i i was i was really nervous i was so nervous i was like oh, oh my god but i tried i tried so hard to seem like a normal person <laughs> it helped a lot that he was so down to earth and he was so awesome. He was just, he made me feel comfortable. Like he made me feel like I was with somebody that I knew, like like with a friend, it was so cool. So I, I, I immediately just chilled out. Like I was just like, this is, it's all right. You know, this is cool, it's cool. But obviously inside, I was like, a lot of you wanted me to get like exclusive stuff from him and like ask him about Mass Effect 4 and ask him about the new DLC and I'm just like, well, how, first of all, if he knew anything about that, he couldn't tell me. He's got a non-disclosure agreement, so he can't tell me. So yeah, we didn't talk about that stuff, but he did say that I asked him if, if he was going to do any work in Dragon Age 3 because he had worked in Dragon Age Origins and in Dragon Age 2. Um, so he said that if all goes well, that he most likely will work on Dragon Age 3. So hopefully, um, he has been in pretty much every Bioware game, so I wouldn't doubt it. Uh, but yeah, hopefully that turns out well for him. I just wanted to uh, tell you guys that it did, did, it did go very well. Um, he's an awesome, awesome guy. He's so nice. He had seen... Um, my red sand video actually before he told me that he just realized it and I was like oh my god Mark Mir saw one of my videos <laughs> but yeah it was it was a lot of fun we had some good laughs and he's he's really funny and I'm just completely grateful I've said this before already how how um how grateful I am for uh to everyone that made this possible uh it it's it was it was really like a dream come, tr come true for me. It, it, it's something that I'm never gonna forget. So yeah, I just really, really appreciate everybody that was that made this happen. Gamers for Sandy Hook, Chris Maker, who is the guy that the first donor that gave his the Skype call to Dark Streetful, and then of course Mark Mir. Um, all of you guys made me just. The happiest person right now. It's not a dream come true for me because it's Mass Effect, because I'm a huge Mass Effect fan, but also because I'm a really big fan of Mark Mears. I think he he does his work is amazing. He does some really good work. He's very talented. Um, so for those of you that haven't watched his stuff outside of Mass Effect or voice acting, he does improv, and he also writes. Uh, he writes for uh, like comedy sketches, and he also writes for TV shows. He actually stars and writes in a TV show called Tiny Plastic Men. That I I've I've been ever since it's it aired, which was not very long ago. I think he just he said that they had just finished the first season, which was like eight episodes. I've seen um, on YouTube. I'll provide links in the description. Please go check them out because they are worth checking out. Um, especially if you live in Canada, because this TV show, Tiny Plastic Men, only airs in Canada, um, on the, on the Super Channel. 
So for those of you that live in Canada and you know about the Super Channel, you know that you have to subscribe to it and all that. It's also on demand, so you could watch it whenever you want, but he said that uh, it airs Monday nights. His character, his name is October, and he... He's just, he looks so cool. He looks so funny. He is like this gothic guy, like straight up gothic. And he's got like different color eyes and he's got like um, piercings. He looks so cool. I, I, I just really want to watch the show just to see his performance in it because he, he looks like he's playing such a out there character. If you like his work, check this out. Um, they have promos on their YouTube channel, um, which I've watched, uh, where they just talk a little bit about the show. And also, another guy, Chris Craddock, who is in that show as well, is also a good friend of Mark Mears, um, and they do Herald of Galactus together. I've talked about Herald of Galactus a few times on Twitter. It's seriously so funny. Um, what it is, is an improv that they do every year, I think. It's like a comic book improv. Um, it's, it, they take a superhero, they pretty much ask the audience, what's a good superhero name? And they give you, they, they give them the name, and they just take it from there. They just create a comic, and they act it out. A superhero comic. And it's so funny. They have two on YouTube that I've seen. Actually, one on YouTube and another one on Blip, I think it was. I can't remember, but the links will be in the description. Please check them out if you need a good laugh. That is so funny. It's so entertaining. Um, and they both do a great job. Um, my fa my personal favorite is the Tropic, the Tropic Storm one. For any of you that are in London or in Canada as well. He also does another thing called the Sobathon, which is in Canada, and the Improvathon, which is in London. It They just happened, and it's crazy. It's 50 hours, 50 hours nonstop of improv, of a specific plot. They, they've got their plot, or their theme, um, but they improvise everything about it. They know who their character is and all that, and they just improvise, and they, they do it for 50 hours. I was like, do you sleep? And he was like, no, I, and some people do, but he's like, a lot of us don't. He's like, I don't sleep. He's, he's the one that's gone the most hours without sleeping, like the first one to do it. But yeah, I would love to see that. Because, I mean, not only because it looks like it's really funny and it's really cool. I've seen snippets of it. Um on YouTube, but I mean these guys are up there for 50 hours and you get to see how they react to that. Like it's, he said that it, it's like the first few times that you do it, it's like you're on acid because you start hallucinating and you, you start to like see things and like you start to trip out. Um, but yeah, he said that after like the fifth time that you do it, you you get used to it and you don't, he's like, this, the hallucination stops. So I was like, oh my god, that's so crazy. So um, if any of you are out there, um, I'd suggest follow him on Twitter. Um, it's at Mark underscore Mir. It's not at Mark Mir. It's at Mark underscore Mir. Um, follow him because he's, he's always tweeting about what he, do, he does. And he does a lot of stuff out in Canada. So if you live in Canada, um, yes, I, I, I envy you guys because I would so go to this, these things because he's, he's really talented and the people that he works with are really cool too. Uh, they look like they're really, uh, they're really good. They're really good at what they do. So he's also part of a radio show. It's called The Irrelevant Show. Um, and I've heard snippets of it and it's really cool. Uh, I'll provide the link in the description for the website. But the cool thing is that you could also download podcasts um, off of iTunes, and it's free. He's also involved in something that's called uh, Caution May Contain Nuts, and I've watched this as well. I've posted a few links, a few videos on YouTube about this. Okay, when I tell you guys go watch this, it's not just because I'm I'm trying to, like, I don't know, promote something. No, I, I'm, I'm seriously telling you go watch this because it's so funny. They just do skits. It's like Saturday Night Live almost, um, but improv. 
and it, it, they just do skits and he writes a lot of them he 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 writes like he's he writes pretty much like the nerdy ones like the the superhero ones the the d and d ones uh, he's done a few d and d ones um and my favorite is the one uh, with dr von chaos it's oh, it's so funny it's seriously so funny he plays dr von chaos and he just does such a great job. You can't even tell it's him because he's wearing a mask. But his his the voice he puts on is just awesome. It went so well, so well that I didn't realize how much time had passed. I felt so bad afterwards. I was like, oh my god! I thought it had only been like an hour, and it was already going on to like two hours. And I was like. <laughs> I felt really bad afterwards, but he was really cool about it. He never once did he say, I should go. So yeah, I, I it, he was just the sweetest guy ever. So that's pretty much it. Um, please check the links out in the description. I'll also try to put annotations here. Um, but yeah, if you want to know more about the stuff that he does, uh, follow him on Twitter. Like I said, because he does announce everything that he's going to do. And he did tell me that possibly, I don't know when this would happen, but he, that's why he said that he would announce it on Twitter. But they are, they do want to, the, the cast of Mass Effect, the voice actors, want to get together and do like cosplay. Um, he said that it would probably be somewhere near Comic-Con, maybe L.A. Um, so that would be epic. He said that he's down to do it. He's already cosplayed as Shepard, if you haven't seen it. Here's a picture. He cosplayed with um, Rana McInear, I think her, her last name is pronounced. She's the voice and the face model of Samara and Morinth. Um, she, I'm sure you guys have seen those pictures that she cosplayed in Comic-Con, I think it was? No, it was Dragon-Con. Because um, that's the one he's gone to, Mark Mirror. He hasn't gone to Comic-Con. It was so good and then she's got the face it was the best obviously the best cosplay one of the best cosplays i have ever seen because it's the actual the actual actress the face model of the character so it was it was just creepy it was so good but yeah he said that kimberly brooks was down to do it she's the voice of ashley uh uh rafael sabarge the voice of kaden uh, a lot of them are down to do it, so that would be so cool. Um, so yeah, that's something that I am really looking forward to if it does go down. So if you guys really want to know more, follow Mark Mir because I don't know how else we would find out about this. I forgot what he called it, but it was some like, uh, Mass Effect cosplay something. But yeah, that would be so cool. Look forward to maybe something happening in the near future um, with... Uh, Mark Mir, he was he was nice enough to offer that. So so maybe in the near future that will come. Again, thank you all for everything for making this happen, and yeah, just for all of you that support me as well. So yes, so yeah, thank you for watching, and take it away, Commander. I'm Commander Shepard, and Gamer MD83 is my favorite channel on YouTube.